Hi everyone and welcome to Simon the Sorcerer 2 and we've just been knocked down the stairs by our two favourite demons so it's time to go and deal with them I believe. Let's sort them out shall we? Remember that we kept half of that swamp shake. So... Time for these guys to get what they deserve. Are you some sort of like masochist, kid? I still can't get past them though. Nevertheless, it was extremely satisfying. And now we're going to uh, rub it in a bit. That looks incredibly suspicious, fellas. You just wait until the next game. Next game? Yeah! I'm gonna turn you into an handbag! Handbag! Yeah! Stop repeating everything I say! Say! Yeah! That looks incredibly suspicious, fellas. Who'd have thought it? Powerful demons trapped by milkshake. That looks incredibly suspicious, fellas. When was the last time you had a bath, Max? That looks incredibly suspicious, fellas. That little toe rag is gonna pay for this! So, we can't get past them anymore, but yeah, that was very, very satisfying. However, if you remember earlier in the walkthrough when I tried to float up to the treasury, it was one of the demons that uh, popped my balloons. So, we are now going to go back and get some balloons and float ourselves into the treasury, and that should do it. How about you? And assuming we find some mucus aid in there, that will uh, get us back to our dimension. In theory. Right, so how many balloons have I got on here? None, okay, right. So I need to do this three times. Come down and join the fun at McSwampings. Excuse me? Yeah? Can I have another balloon? Another go. Okay. I'm just zooming through what the. Uh, I'm just zooming through what he says now because uh, you've all seen it. At... If I was really thinking, what I would have done was what I should have done was do this off camera. Excuse me. Yeah. Can I have what I should have done was do this off camera, but hey, you guys get to watch it anyway. Sorry. Only one more. Come down and join the fun at McSwampings. Excuse me. Can I have a Okay, so that is it. Come Somehow down and his join the fun at McSwampings. Somehow his balloon pile never goes down, which is wait, he has perpetual balloons. There we go. Tell you what, those balloons must be filled with something if three of them can get you into the air.
If you've seen one, you've seen them all. I don't think it'd fit in my hat. Can I open it? I can't be bothered to move stuff without a good reason. Open it. There's no point in trying. It's a red herring. <coughs> this is one serious amount of cash. It is really, isn't it? And there's the mucosate. So let's pick that up. This must be the stuff. And, you know, just because I can. Just wait until the next game, kid. We'll be back. Back. Yeah. Just try not to come unstuck next time. <sighs> Good. Yeah. So, with that intellectual pairing dealt with, let's... Weird. No, I don't understand why that happened the way it did either. Let's head back to Calypso's. Oh, come on. Oi! Hey! Get out of it! The future has become all too inevitable. Scumbag... <laughs> Scumbag goldfinch, or whatever that bird was. At least I got the mucus aid. Right, let's head. I believe Calypso's is where we should be going now, right? Where is Calypso's? Oh, there she is. Uh oh. Where the hell am I? Yeah. I guess I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. I suppose I'd better ask directions. Excuse me. Do you know where Calypso's Magic Emporium is? <laughs> Simple no would have sufficed. Hold on, Captain. Did you tie him up good and tight? I used an iron chain, Captain. Good, good. Better go and hoist the mainsail, then. It's already hoisted, Captain. Otherwise, we wouldn't be moving, Captain. Already hoisted, you say? Yes, Captain. Sure? Yes, Captain. What about the timbers? What about them, Captain? Have they been shivered? Done, Captain. Sort out myself, Captain. Well, I suppose you'd better go off and do some mating then. Thank you, Captain. Righty, landlubbers. I want you all to know who's in charge around here. It's me, see. Captain Long John's Silver. And you can probably tell that I'm not a guy to be mucked around. So if there's any funny business, you know, escaping and all that, you'd answer to me. I would also like you to know that you're going to be sold as slaves when we arrive at Calabari. So make the most of it. Excuse me? Yes? Well, there's plenty of things I can do here, but I'm actually just going to uh, take the piss. I bet you can't say imp, I'm ag ten times fast. Imp, I'm gimp, I'm gimp, I'm a 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 gimp. Mr. Razor Sharp Wit strikes again. I thought so. I can't reach it whilst chained up. Nice MIDI version of the uh, pirate music. Excuse me. Quiet, fool. I'm thinking. And I hate fools talking while I'm thinking. And I hate fools who are also tied up in chains. Who are you calling a fool? You, sucker! 
Now be quiet. See if I can. I don't think he'd appreciate my conversation. Fair enough, but we do have a spell book on us, don't we? This is one of the very few times in any sort of wizardly adventure game I that a spell book comes in useful. I suppose this is my only option, really. Here goes. Hocus Pocus Alakazam. Magic, magic, get me out of this jam. What do you know? <laughs> it worked. Sooty, eat your heart out. Sooty? I've left the skull, but taken the eye patch. Anything else in here? No. Well, let's wander. No, that didn't work, did it? Where do you think you're going, eh? Just popping out to the toilet. Mate! Yes, Captain. Okay, you pair of lily-livered, goose-pimpled landlubbers, pay attention. I have, after careful deliberation, decided that I'm not going to sell you as slaves after all. In order to satisfy my desire for sadism, I'm going to be forced to have you both killed. Therefore, at midday precisely, both of you shall swing to the yardarm, and I... Uh, Captain? Not now, not now. I'm dealing with the prisoners. And I shall watch with great pleasure as you... Uh, Captain? Will you stop interrupting, please? It's quite important, Captain. I'm sure it can wait 30 seconds. No, where was I? Oh, yeah. I shall watch with great pleasure as your necks break and you suffer excruciating... I really think you ought to know, Captain. All right. But it had better be important. We haven't got a yardarm, Captain. No yardarm, you say? No, Captain. Why not? We've never had one, Captain. Right. Uh, in that case, at midday precisely, you shall suffer the horrors of the torture chamber. Where hot... Uh, Captain? We haven't got a torture chamber either, have we? No, Captain. Sorry, Captain. No yard arm, no torture chamber. Do we actually have anything dangerous on this ship? Not really, Captain. Health regulations, Captain. We've got quite a sharp spoon, Captain. Wait a minute. I've had another idea. Right, you lot. There's been a change of plan. At midday, precisely, the pair of you shall walk the plank into the shark in... Eh? Uh. We do have a plank, don't we? That's not too much to ask, is it? No, Captain. It's just that... Uh... Don't tell me it's against regulations, is it? No, Captain. It's broken, Captain. We're just having it mended now. Right. Hey. So, at midday... More like about three o'clock, Captain. At five past three precisely, you shall all walk the plank into the shark-infested... what? Not so much infested, Captain. Don't tell me there are no sharks. Wrong climate, Captain. Too cold for them. You see, your average shark prof Is there any even slightly dangerous marine wildlife around here? I think there's a dolphin with a nasty disposition, Captain. Dolphins aren't dangerous, are they? I thought they led sailors to safety. Not this one, Captain. Leads them straight to the sharks. Got a bit of a thing going. Good. Right, just to recap. At five past three, you shall all walk the plank into the dolphin-infested waters and be led to your deaths. That okay with you, is it? Yes, Captain. No problem with that, is there? We're not breaking any regulations or anything? No, Captain. Good. In the meantime, however, you can make yourself useful. I like the cut of your jib, lad. My old cabin boy met with an, an unfortunate accident a few days ago. You can replace him. Who knows, if you're any good, I might spare your life. Mate? Yes, Captain? Bring him up to my cabin. Yes, Captain. Right. 
you know what a cabin boy is supposed to do? Uh, no. Uh, no captain. Uh, no captain. Nor do I, really. I suppose you'd better talk to some of the crew. They probably know. Okay? Yes, Captain. Feel free to roam around until you find out what to do. Yes, Captain. Right. What a stroke of luck. Now all I have to do is find the mucus aid and get back to port. There's a few things we can do around here. And of course the yard down won't be installed till Tuesday, I don't think. Do I need any more parrots? I've already taken one. I'd better not. The captain might miss it. I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. 24th of June. Finally got underway with new ship. I think we'll head for the capital first to flog the loot. 26th of June. Really picking up on this pirating business. Cabin boy Jim Hawkins fell overboard and drowned. Crew giving me a hard time. 29th of June. My birthday today. Received five new pairs of long johns from crew. They think they're really amusing. 1st of August. Totally fed up with wisecracks about underwear. Next one of them to try it on gets it. 3rd of August. Executed three crew members to set an example. The others won't dare try it on again. 5th of August. The crew grow ever more subtle. I don't know which one to blame. I'm going to take it out on the two slaves we picked up in the capital. There's a postcard here. It's a postcard from Calimari. Hmm. Dear LJ, having lovely time, weather good, food excellent. Met a lovely couple from down south. Wish you were here. Love, Captain H. P.S. This card's a lovely shot of the bay, isn't it? So we've kind of got amateur pirating going on here. I like to think I can appreciate such fine carpentry. I've caused enough hassle by opening wardrobes today. I don't think there's anything else that I need to worry about. Nope. I guess it's time to head out onto the ship. Uh, hello. You must be the new cabin boy. You got it. You any good at knots? I don't know. I've never tried. No. So, uh, matey, what's with the shades? They were the best I could do, I'm afraid. I can't get hold of a proper eye patch. I feel a right idiot like this. Your captain is one enormous dickhead. Tell me something I didn't know. When we agreed to take him, he told us he was Long John Silver. Turns out he's really called Long John Silver. Watch out, man. You know how I can get off this ship? There are plenty of ways off it. Yeah? If you can swim. Oh. Which I can't do. Would you say we swap your shades for my eye patch? Really? No problem. Catch you later. There you go, he's finally got his eye patch. So let's look at the shade. Heavy-duty chain and padlock. Alright, that's his place. There's a 
couple of things in here. Let's have a look at the piratey stuff. It's a hammock full of pirate stuff. Oh, there's a tinderbox there. Let's grab that. The hammock's in the way. Okay. I see what's going on here. How can the hammock be in the way of that? <laughs> Didn't seem to do too much to him. Remember, basically, just be a jerk in this game and you'll be fine. Excuse me. You must be the new cabin boy. And you must be the one who steers the ship? Not really. I just do what the parrot says. Like, show us your knickers? It's the latest thing in high-tech, state-of-the-art pirate technology. It's been specially trained by the druids to always point north. You mean like a compass? How did you know that? Oh, just a wild guess. It takes all the fun out of helming. I wouldn't have thought it was much fun in the first place. At least it was interesting. You know, consulting the star charts, watching the sun. Now I just look at a map, consult the parrot, and go. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I've got a whole ship to clean by nightfall. Okay, but make sure you get this deck done. And in fact, what you do is swap parrots. What's that? A Pentium Parrot. A what? It's a new model. It's got all the latest upgrades. Local beak, genuine lintel feathers, cracker code processor. It's the appliance of science. But we only just got the old one. You gotta move with the times though, eh? I suppose so. But why's it fallen off its perch? Just got to set up its beak BIOS. Okay then. A Pentium Parrot. I think that I first played this game on a Pentium 90, if I'm not mistaken. How times have moved on. It had 8 megs of RAM. And I now have more gigabytes of RAM than I had megs of RAM. In fact, I have 16 times more RAM than I did hard drive space on my first computer. Pretty weird. But anyway, that should get him turning back. Obviously, what we want to do is get hey, the ship. It worked. We're turning round. Now all I have to do is sit back until we arrive home. Meanwhile. I wonder where Simon is, Grandfather. He's been gone for hours. Don't worry, my dear. I'm sure he's perfectly safe. We've come for the wizard, okay? Yeah, and you better hand him over, right? Or there will be trouble. With a capital P. You got that? He's not here. Look, Mac. We know the wizard is here, right? Just hand him over. And don't try any funny business, okay? Resistance is not a good idea. That's right. Not for you, anyway. I'm telling you, he's not here. Well, we is gonna search the place, see? We find him, then we might just let you and the Goyle go. Notice, he said might. Otherwise? Otherwise what? Just pray it don't happen. Let's do it. Bad news for Calypso. Hang on a minute. We're still at sea. I wonder what's going on.
swap the pirates around again. And the other thing we need to do is get hold of the Lucasade, or Mucasade, sorry, not the Lucasade. Uh, let's head in here. Hey, tough guy. Shut up, fool! You don't happen to have a welding torch on you by any chance? So what if I have, fool? Can I borrow it? I ain't got a light. Otherwise, I would have cut myself free. I think I know where I can find a light. Okay, fool. But I'd better get it back, or you is history. How have you... You know what? This game just defies all forms of logic. I know that adventure games are supposed to have weird logic, but at least have some logic. And it's time to be a douche again. Ah! Don't forget to ride! I'd better pick the hammer up as well. Now, we could try and weld our way through that, but the problem is that the captain comes out of this door if we try that. So, what we have to do is bar this door so he can't get out. There's no point in doing that yet. And there you go, he comes out. What do you think you're doing? Um, uh, just checking the door, Captain. Keep away from this door, boy, or else. No problem. Good. I guess it was because you can't possibly have known at that point, so you do have to do it. So, yep, this time it's plank on door. They can't make us walk the plank now. But we also have the sunglasses and the tinder box, so now we can use the welding torch on the chain. Easy. And there's the mucus aid. So let's pick that up. And now it's time to do the last thing necessary. And again, this is one where you probably won't, you might get this from one of the crew, but it's unlikely. We need to use the postcard. On the telescope. That shows that there's land. I 
I think that should be it. I might have to turn the parrot round again. I think I'll take a nap until we arrive home. Later that day. Uh oh. Hmm. Looks like another ship. I wonder if they're friendly. Days later. Oh dear. my inventory well that's everything gone it's all gone down with the ship so we're going to be starting again pretty much from scratch trying to get the lucas the mucus back so that's it for this video guys thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time